So I want to thank you for joining us once again at Plowman's Backyard here in our backyard. Um, today what I'm actually going to do is I'm trying to do some tilling because you know the gardens are starting to die down, the cold weather's coming, the leaves are starting to change color and it's letting me know that it's almost time to start thinking about putting our garlic in. I couldn't get our regular tiller going and um, a neighbor had a tiller that I haven't used before and I thought you know what a great opportunity to try a new one. We are looking at getting another tiller. This little tiller I'm telling you um, it's called the four stroke mantis tiller and I'm used to using very large tillers because we have large gardens but this tiller what I looked at I'm like is it actually going to do anything? Is it going to penetrate anything? But you know what? I have to share this video with you because I was pleasantly surprised by this little machine. And the cost of these little things are not as high as the heavy duty ones. So, um, and the nice thing, it folds up. It is so cool. I, it's such a cute little tiller. Anyways, if I didn't have such a big gardens, I would be up and buying this one because it is kind of neat. So let's get into that video and we'll show you how it works. So first thing I'm going to show you is how this thing actually works and just how little this machine is. It's got like two tines on it right under the motor. It is a four stroke Honda motor. So essentially um, it could take up to about four pulls just to get the motor going and get the gas through um, the engine itself. So we've got the gas tank here, it takes regular gas. We always, um, tell people to try to use premium on any of your little machines. Um, the other thing we've got here, we've got the pull chain. That's important. Um, over on the side here, we've got the oil. So you can check the oil. Basically, these are the gas lines in here. And then there's this little thing here. You give that a couple pushes. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it pushes that gas right through here and gets things flowing. So that's an important little thing to know. And next we have the choke. So basically to start it, you're going to want this thing all the way up. Um, that's to start it. Now, if it's been running for a while, it can be down. It's not a big deal. But um, initially you want this to be up. And then once it goes running a little bit, you can push it down. We'll put that up because we're going to give it a start. The other thing is this has a little kickstand, which is kind of cute, actually. It's just so little. It's so cute. Anyway, this is a kickstand to hold it. So when we start it, it's not flopping around. So another really neat feature that I do like about this um, Mantis Tiller is you can see here, um, there's this little um, handle here that you just kind of pull this out and these tines actually come off so that you can clean out any of the roots and stuff that gets all tangled up when you normally do tilling that happens. But this is a neat little feature. So it's just got this little lever. You pull this out. The other side comes off as well. You can take the whole tine off and clean it out. Um, not a lot of tillers have this and I think that's a really great feature, a really neat feature to have on this machine. And the next thing that's unique with this that um, our other ones don't have is the on and off switch. You can see here there's a circle and this, you just flick that on. We're going to leave it off for now. And the next thing we have is the handle. So basically to get the throttle going, you've got to have this hold down and press this for the speed. That's essentially all you really need to know about this machine. These little knobs here are basically, we just loosen them up and this whole handlebar actually folds down. And this little machine with the handlebars up here, they fold right down to the bottom here. And it's just this little tiny machine that you could take almost essentially anywhere. I think it's amazing. You could put it in the back of a small car. So I'm just gonna flip that switch, turn it on. Make sure my choke is up.
So as you can see, that little tiller did phenomenal. The amount of dirt, it went in really deep. It rooted up a lot of roots, tiny little rocks, it did well. The amazing thing is, it is not so hard on my shoulders, my wrists, my elbows, my arms, because it only weighs 20 to 24 pounds max. But I am going to try a little spot where I'm pretty sure there's no rocks, or at least no huge rocks, and I'm going to try it and just see how it breaks up the grass roots and the new ground that's never been tilled. So let's do that now. seen that ground has never been tilled never been broken up had lots of grass root there's even a bit of a root from a tree stump you've seen it jumping around that's a normal tiller thing to do um got some rocks about this size seem to just spit them right out like it's nothing so if i have to give this thing a rating i would say that it is i would say it's a five out of five for what it does the nice thing is it broke stuff up it gets in real deep and i was able to move the soil around i don't know if you've seen it i was pushing back the dirt so i can get in even deeper this thing's amazing um if you've got an established garden i would say for the fact that it's conveniently um movable it's lightweight um it's lower in cost than most tillers you can store it just about anywhere if you need to take it to get it fixed and you don't know how to fix small engines so easy and versatile to just fold it up and take it in your car i don't know if you have like a huge area that you want to till i wouldn't say like this would be your top thing to get but if it's all you had it's a honda motor which hey i'm sold already but um i don't know i really like it i really like it for a small machine, it, I don't know what to say. It's awesome. It's totally awesome. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon so you know when we get new videos up. And we just want to thank you for all your support. And um, I hope that maybe we can do some more reviews on some of our backyard things that we do here. Um, and if you have, you know, any questions or anything, I would try to help you as best as I can. We tend to focus um, on our channel. We tend to focus on gardening, um, chickens, and, you know, time in the kitchen, canning recipes, you know, baking, um, cooking, different things. So uh, I really hope that you're enjoying being here with us. I hope you're enjoying our channel. And um, like I said, you know, subscribe. And if you know people that would like us, share us. Hit that share button. Share us with your friends. Thank you for joining us here at Plowman's Backyard.